morning from 115 Marina in Brooklyn Heights, New York. Today we're going to be heading out onto the Hudson. We're going to be heading north on the Hudson to a marina called Half Moon Bay Marina and it's in Brooklyn on the Hudson. We'll spend the night there and then we'll continue on the next two days, Saturday and Sunday. Here's a map of our travels today. This is uh, 115 Marina, right off of the Manhattan tip there. We're gonna head out up the Hudson and continue only about 35 miles today to Half Moon Bay Marina. We had a wonderful time in Manhattan, seeing it from the perspective of the water. Looking forward to our journey up the Hudson to view upstate New York. As we travel, I make time to organize our photos and videos for the future videos. Shortly after leaving Manhattan, the Hudson River Valley unveils its beauty. Upon entering Half Moon Bay Marina, located in Croton, Steve the Dockmaster greeted us with open arms. After helping secure our boat, he proceeded to fill us in on the happenings nearby. The highlight of this stop was meeting up with Steve's daughter to catch up over a nice lunch. Later on, we took a ride around on our scooters to explore the town and happened upon a great soul music band playing at a nearby park. The reason we chose this particular marina is Steve the Dockmaster saw our boat on Nebo and reached out to us while we were in Manhattan. Half Moon Bay is a definite stopover as you continue your loop. Located just 20 miles north of the George Washington Bridge, they can easily accommodate a vessel up to 165 feet. We can see why Half Moon Bay is a preferred choice for loopers along the Hudson. Continuing our journey today, here we are at Half Moon Bay Marina in Croton, and we're going to continue up the Hudson. Find an anchorage, all these little anchors here are different anchorages. Hopefully we can find an anchorage. If not, we'll find another nice marina. And then tomorrow night we're going to end up in Albany Yacht Club. Uh, where we will spend a few days before we head out to the Erie Canal. Look at all those blue locks. It looks like so much fun. Have a good day. Some of the sights along the Hudson include cell phone towers masquerading as pine trees. Following the banks of the Hudson is the Metro North train. The train runs from New York City to Albany several times per day, comparatively reminding us of how slowly we travel. West Point is the oldest continuously occupied military post in the United States. West Point was identified by General George Washington as the most important strategic position in America during the American Revolution. Benedict Arnold sealed his fate in American history in a secret meeting with the British, proposing to sell West Point to the British Army for 20,000 pounds. Hikers can be spotted along the Catskills in upstate New York, which are part of the Appalachian Mountains. Not that you can see them with the iPhone camera, but if you zoom in real close, you might. Bannerman Castle on Polypel Island was part of our discoveries along the Hudson. It was built in 1901 as a storage facility for weapons, uniforms, and gunpowder. The castle was heavily damaged during an explosion in 1920. Today, the exterior can be toured during the summer months. Esopus Meadows Lighthouse, aka the Maid of the Meadow, was constructed in 1839 for a sum of $6,000 to warn mariners of this submerged mudflat and safely guide river traffic to the east side of the river to avoid dangerous shallows. There once was a meadow in the middle of Hudson River near Esopus, big enough for cows to graze on its green grass at low tide. But the river changed and now the meadow is underwater at any tide. After a full day of cruising, we made anchorage at a secluded spot just outside the river opening of Kingston, New York. Kingston was New York's first capital. The Rondout Lighthouse stands watch over the opening of Rondout Creek. In 1946, the Hudson Athens Lighthouse was featured on the cover of Saturday Evening Post with keeper Emil J. Brunner rowing out to the lighthouse in winter with his family waiting on deck. 
Brunner was the last civilian lightkeeper and retired in 1949. Commercial traffic on the Hudson is frequent. This gentle giant greeted our arrival to Coyman's Landing Marina. Coyman's is a full-service marina in a protected location, the only one on the Upper Hudson. Great people and great facilities in a relaxed atmosphere with an on-site restaurant. The newly renovated lounge, showers, bathrooms, and laundry are a big plus. Fuel, ship store, and on-site mechanics with a patio and a fire pit. Tired crew will go out of their way to make your visit memorable, and they sure did for us. While at Coyman's, we took this opportunity to give Matoaka some much needed spa treatment. We can't say enough about the service department as they did their best to accommodate our tight schedule. After six months in saltwater, we felt it was a good time to change the impellers, replace the zincs, and power wash the bottom. We even discovered what was causing a little vibration. That brings us to Hudson the Swan. Hudson has made his home at Coyman's. Every morning we were greeted by Hudson looking for food in his bowl. During our week, we heard multiple boulders fondly tell stories of their encounters with Hudson. Hudson brings a smile to everyone he meets. I had the pleasure of feeding Hudson during our stay. His favorite is Ritz crackers in addition to his pellet. Don't try to pass off the knockoff Toll House crackers. He knows the difference. Hudson may be the unofficial mascot for Ritz crackers. Hey, we're both wearing blue. <laughs> yeah, isn't that nice? <laughs> and it's our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Annie. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I tell you, the Coyman's Marina, that was the first marina I didn't want to leave. We just really just felt welcomed there and um, great people. And they took care of us. It was really awesome. I heard they had a Pat Benatar concert. Huh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, at the other marina, they had a right, big right, sign right. on right. Yeah. yeah, we heard about it, but not not in time to go to it. But, yeah, you know. actually, we're, we're just busting uh, uh, the Doc Master Pete. Uh, <clears throat> so they had a Pat Benatar concert free in the park. And uh, one night we were looking around like, where is everybody? And everybody was gone. And uh, normally everybody's hanging out, having a beer or whatever outside. And uh, everybody was gone. And uh, next morning we find out there was a free Pat Benatar concert in town. And uh, we didn't get the message. I so, like Pat Benatar. So for the whole week, we just constantly gave Pete a hard time about Pat Benatar. And uh, he was great. He let us use his truck. Uh, we went and uh, had lunch one day. Just a super nice guy. Truly treated us like a, uh, a long lost friend. And uh, we want to give him a big shout out here because he really did make our, our stay there welcoming. So. Um, nicest marina I think on our trip. Cleanest bathrooms. You get the you get the cleanest bathrooms. So. Definitely. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So and Hudson. We got Hudson the swan. Oh, he was precious. He was precious. Yeah. Was really cool. You got to feed him one morning. But yeah, he would hang out and uh, come back to the back of our boat and honk a little bit. But everybody had a story about Hudson. It was pretty. Uh, it was really a cool place. So and he won't leave there. He d he's been there for four years. Yeah, he's somebody ice, ice. There was a story. He got frozen in the ice, and they went out in a boat and cut him out of the ice and brought him back in. But he, there was like uh, I don't know, sixty swans or something showed up there. He wouldn't leave. He stayed right there. So yeah. um, he's, he's. I, he had a girlfriend for a little bit, but she left and he yeah. stayed. Right. So, so. <laughs> he's devoted. Right. But yeah. she took the truck. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Um, we really appreciate it. If you, if you enjoy what we do, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. We uh, we kind of watch the feedback, and it's it's important. So mm -hmm. um, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And see uh, you thank, next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Bye bye.